Hello and welcome. My name is Super Saiyan and this is your weekly news and pre-order video covering all of the new releases from Forgeworld and Games Workshop. If you do enjoy these videos and you'd like to support the channel, please consider subscribing, joining as a member and purchasing all of your Warhammer goodness from Element Games in the affiliate link down below where you can save yourself up to 25% off of your hobby supplies. Without further ado, let's jump on over to the Warhammer community website right here. Um, there's been a, a decent number of articles, lots of uh, visions, lots of um, rumor engines, uh, I think one a day or so. But uh, if we just skip back in time to the 22nd of May, uh, so about here, we had a rumor engine, uh, Visions of the Beast. This, it looks like some uh, vials or some pouches and something stitched there. You've got uh, Gulliman and Mortarion have the ultimate fraternal showdown in the this week's Black Library pre-orders. So they've re-released these Dark Imperium books by Guy Haley. And they've, they've tweaked them. They've tweaked the, the timeline and things. Um, mine should be arriving uh, very soon. Uh, so I'll, I'll give you a, a little look at them. Uh, I enjoyed the first Dark Imperium. But um, yeah, it, it's good that they've gone back and they've tweaked them. Uh, and uh, they've put them in this kind of artwork. You've got this one, Dark Imperium Plague War. And then this, Dark Imperium Goblight, which is the brand new one. And uh, Gilliman and Mortarion are having a little clash there. This special limited edition uh, version here only 750 usually there's about 700 or so um it sold out extremely quickly on the games workshop web store uh it's got two page keepers as well so you can take your pick of black or gold i mean of course i love that color but there we go then last week saturday there were the pre-orders um a lot of pre-orders you know so many it's, it's intimidating uh the number of uh pre-orders and releases that they're um, putting through I hope that they do slow down and we get to a point where there's maybe one book a week or one book every couple of weeks and you know just a couple of models rather than this deluge of, uh, of new releases so it kicked off last weekend with the Adeptus Mechanicus Codex um, no night data sheets in here really really odd and it's a similar number of pages of the previous codex which I thought was was fantastic because it combines Skitari and um, Adeptus Mechanicus all in one You've got this book here uh, with special edition and normal. You've got some you know, boring dice and uh, you've got some uh, cards. Also a new model, this um, Skitari Marshal to lead your you know, specific Skitari rather than a full-blown uh, tech priest. Um, you've also got this uh, Combat Patrol. Um, I think that's quite a decent one. It, it does save you a little bit. You're kind of getting the Skitari for free there and the um, Engines here. But uh, yeah, lackluster that it only contains the engines here rather than a new model will, will we ever get a combat patrol that includes a new model um we we're starting to see new models arriving in the start collecting sets from age of sigma uh this week we've got the white king which we'll have a look at in a moment um you've got some t-shirts as well uh, lilith hesperax is available um separately but she's very expensive and then finally we've got the release of the um space marine primaris heavy intercessors a few people were moaning, whining, whinging, crying about the price of these of being basically forty pounds, but aggressors are thirty. So just divide that by three, times it by five, could be worse. Could be forty-five, could be fifty pounds. So everybody that bought the prior Nexus for you know seventy pounds or so, um, you know, got a good deal, and that's you know that's been the trend for four or five years now with GW. They release a box set that does save you a fair bit of money look at indomitus look at the recent adeptus titanicus box sets they do save you a fair amount of money over buying these kits individually where gw make their money is by selling these kits individually directly through games workshop and um, you've also got a release of a combat patrol it's it's an odd one i mean if you still haven't picked up the suppressors it's another way of, of picking these up but they are the um mono pose um uh, build miniatures from the uh, Vigilus uh, box set that came out over two years ago now. Um, the flayed ones, one of the hardest kits to build in my opinion. Um, they're just one sprue. They're quite pricey. Yeah, I've got a review of them. Um, if you check that out, you'll uh, realise that um, 
the kit is a challenge to make but uh, there's zero customization and um, and then monopose as well you've got the chronomancer which is quite a cool looking model and the combat patrol for necrons if i hadn't already subscribed to the imperium um magazine that's coming out later this year i would have picked up this um, combat patrol but i know that there are i think 20 um immortals and death marks in that subscription along with tomb blades i think there's also an overlord so the only thing i'm really missing out is the death shroud which i'll pick up a second one at some point in the future age of sigma though fantastic so you've got to start collecting box set of um soul blight grave lords there's the new model in there the white king hopefully i'll receive that today and we can do a, a nice unboxing you've got 20 grave guard in there I know each one of each box of 10 grave guards 27 pound 50 so we're already in the realms of 55 pounds there for this 60 pound kit you you kind of almost getting the black knights and the white king for free here you got the die wolves which are yeah quite pricey for 10 you've got bella Dama. i'm not a big fan of that model uh Rad radicar interesting and um, we'll see what he looks like and a couple of characters and then the hostiles available separately now again people were whining crying about how um they really wanted Curse city and they really wanted these models games workshop are giving you the chance of, of getting these models separately now so and remember you can use them in your age of sigma uh, games die chasm we've got the release of uh canaan's reapers for uh, a little warband there uh, so if you're into Ossiarch, worth picking these up Kanan himself is absolutely massive and very tall model um, and you've also got some t-shirts to celebrate uh, Ossiarch Bone Reapers too got Necromunda Hive War they released an, uh, another version of the uh, box game this time with the House Orlock I think they did release this before but um, you can pick it up in China and Japan now so that was the pre-orders from like last weekend, as you can tell, a, a huge number, quite a lot to, to take in. Um, then uh, later on in the day, we had the Warhammer <laughs> animation preview. Wow, you, you can tell I'm smiling and, and giggling about it because it was just absolutely pants. It, it was terrible. Um, it's supposed to promote this online app subscription um, service uh, that, that celebrates this work of so, so many talented people and um, it was a prime opportunity to do that and they absolutely wasted it they really did um, I have not spoken to anybody that enjoyed that uh, it was titles with sound bites some titles with footsteps there's some titles with a little bit of like a couple of sentences narration it, it was it was crap it really was guys and um, we deserve better this is an absolutely amazing full rich universe one of the best out there and um my disappointment was immeasurable that day uh, and it's a shame because it um hurts the expectations of um you know future streams people's expectations were already hurt from the the warhammer fest the week long live streams of models we've already seen but moving on for the rest of the week uh there was these rumor engines which have been pretty interesting uh this is kind of like some kind of axe type skewer thing i want to say orky but it could be uh you know ideneth or chaosy um you had sunday preview the next day uh, this might have brought a smile to a few of your faces. Uh, Kragnos. We've now got uh, the, I say, the final book um, for Broken Realms. Uh, again, a beautiful cover. I love the brown. I really, really do like that brown uh, of the book. The model himself is huge. He's taller than a mega gargant from the looks of it. The the two or maybe three things I I just don't get on with, and I've said this before already, is his face. He's got like these ridges here. Um, which I just can't not look at and his mouth is just weirdly shaped I'd rather some kind of horse type face um, the mace the the shaft is too short uh, and the shield straps are just way too too big and thick um, so it, it's almost 100% uh, but yeah I'm not I'm not a huge fan of this one so I will be skipping him despite his rules being uh, pretty awesome. Lord Croak, on the other hand, oh, fantastic mini. Really, really nice. I can see a lot of people picking uh, this one up. Um, you've got Dexessa and Sinessa. 
these two Slanesh models, lovely, absolutely lovely minis. Um, I don't know why, why the thing just did that, but uh, it did. Um, yeah, fantastic, whichever one you pick up. Um, the only downside is they do look quite similar. You know, one's holding the staff, one's holding these um, uh, beads. Uh, one's got a bigger kind of peacock um, uh, sort of back to it. And one's got these um, spikes and horns. Uh, but yeah, even if you picked up both of them, that'd be that'd be fantastic. There's enough going on that they do look uh, a little bit different. You've got the Revenant as well. Interesting um, if you're into Sylvaneth. And then you've got Galen and Duralia, uh, that then densed. Chapter approved, the Munatorum Field Manual 2021 uh, Mark II. Don't know if many people are playing tournaments over the past year and things, but you know they've they've released this, all the points, values, and things in there. And uh, Mortis is available on uh, on audiobook, along with Gaskell, Prophet of the Wa. This includes many tales chronicling his rise to power. So for the first time, you can read all about the Prophet of Gork and Mork from the green skin that knows him best, uh, Makari. Um, so this is limited edition, it's out uh, today. Um, you've also got a Realm Lords um, novel by Dale Lucas. Sorry, the Gasgill book, uh, it was written by Nate Crowley. Crowley. And you've got uh, Sixth Omnibus of Gotrek and uh, Felix by David Geimer. This is interesting right here, because as you can see, um, you've got five short stories They've made this beautiful artwork for um, the Ever Queen, Alariel. Uh, it kind of makes me wonder whether they did have a fifth uh, Broken Realms book planned and they just, uh, you know, ran out of time or production issues and things. But uh, yeah, there we are. And then 6 p.m., you've got this unboxing Dominion. This Dominion box set is uh, the new Age of Sigmar. I will be live streaming it and. Um, We'll all be in Discord uh, sharing opinions and things from about, you know, 5.50 or so uh, later on uh, this evening. So if you would like to join, uh, you just join the Discord for free and um, tune in and uh, listen to all of our reactions. Then we had some more uh, rumour engines throughout the rest of the week. So this was uh, part seven. That looks a bit orky, a bit hobgoblin-y and... <laughs> Uh, you've got Adeptus Sororitas singing their way to Galactic Dominion with these hymn, hymns of battle. So you've got more hymns of battle. battle. You've got the catechism, catechism of uh, repugnance, chorus of spiritual fortitude as well. Then you've got uh, Get to Know Kragnos, the grumpy god who tried to rage smash all the eggs in the mortal realms. You see, I don't mind that uh, face now because I, I guess his teeth are uh, a bit further. He doesn't have that extra flap. I, would, I want to say um, the straps are shorter his mace is a bit longer um, but yeah that's where he stands up look I mean that's a bit odd because the, the gar Mega Gargan is closer to the camera but this one here look I think he is closer to the camera than the Mega Gargan but he's going to be the, the same if not taller than the Mega Gargan so you can download his war scroll there have a little Sneaky peek at uh, his wall scroll that will be in the book. He's got this thing called the Dread Mace, which is a nice six attacks. Whopping three rend and four damage. Absolutely crazy. He's also got Tusk Breaker and Hooves of Rack and Ruin. Um, look at all those rules. Very, very juicy. So you can get to know his, his rules there. Preview, uh, what's inside the box. What's in the box um, for Dominion Online. Where to watch it, it says London, UK, 6pm. Uh, Rumour Engine, part 8. Kind of like a ball and chain thing. Again, that screams like hobgoblins to me. Um, match play games, about to get uh, a lot more competitive. With the chapter approved. A little interview with a couple of uh, these people. Stephen Box. Um and uh, where does each Grand Alliance stand? So, so there are spoilers in this article, so we won't go too far into that. Five appropriate punishments for your infantrymen. So you can uh, click on this and have a look at the regimental standard. I have to keep applying for those, but uh, there we are. 
weapon confiscation. <laughs> uh, oh, servitor conversion. Okay. <clears throat> Placement in the rear line. Service with the Ogrens. And execution by last pistol, bot pistol, chainsword. It's quite decent. Rumor engine part nine. Again, uh, that looks like orky. I mean, there's like, yeah, like some kind of skull thing going on and more stitches. You've got the Black Library. Uh, confront the mortal realm's most powerful beings in Black Library's Gods and Monsters Week. So the Gods and Monsters Week. So all of these short stories. Ever Queen. God of Earthquakes. Uh, parts 10 for Rumor Engine. <clears throat> Again, a bit hobgobliny. You've got some uh, arrows in like a quiver with a face on it. So, uh, Sisters of Battle or Adeptus Sororitas. They're coming in June. This is uh, fully uh, announced now. Um, you can grab yourself a uh, Fleur de Lis kind of commemorative um, collectible coin if you spend over £60. Pounds. Um, you can get. Uh, the glorious album uh, and uh, then you can put the coins in there but um, you know as I've said many times before uh, getting all these coins will have set you back 720 pounds um, and if you have all the coins you can't really then come back to me and moan and whinge about uh, not being able to get a Titan because you will have spent 720 pounds on 12 metal coins this is the model. It's just one of the models from uh, the army set that came out a good couple of years ago. And um, you can pick up them from 5th of June. So that's another another week to go. Well, up to 5th of June. Um, and you can pick up those uh, from the 5th of June. Five of the biggest points drops from Chapter Approved 2021. Uh, Land Raiders are cheaper. Storm Speeders are cheaper. Immortals... Wraith Guard and Wraith Blades, good. Gene Steelers, very nice. And then there was a little preview of uh, Codex Thousand Sons and Grey Knights. I won't be getting the Thousand Sons one, but I will definitely be picking up Grey Knights. Who knows what's happened to them? Do those helmets look a little bit different? But you know, will we see Primaris um, Grey Knights? I think we might have a new character coming, but yeah, I, I don't know. I wonder. I do wonder. You've got Middle Earth article here, flowing hair and majest majestic elk halls of Thranduil is a faction for you. Ah, very cool model. Uh, Rumor Engine Part Eleven. Some kind of skin with a mark, like a comet mark. I think that is. Um, Kragnos is coming, which of these heroes would you pick to fight him? So a nice little article here where you can pick Lord Croak, obviously. Um, Dexessa. Galen and Duralia. And that's it. So they just showcase the new models, really. Check out three exclusive pages and artwork from the upcoming Sisters of Battle comic series. So another Marvel um, collaboration, this time with Sisters looks pretty cool if you ask me I mean that's uh yeah very nice and then uh, Broken Realms Fiction the Turnskin's Tale so this is just like a uh, a little short story um following uh Kragnos if you're interested in that so that's all of the news um for Saturday the 29th of May let's jump on over to Forge World and have a little look at their pre-orders because I've heard they've got an absolute you know multitude of, of pre-orders this weekend or from yesterday oh they haven't and um, there are no, no new um, pre-orders this weekend uh, which is a little bit of a letdown considering that we got the Volcano Cannon last weekend I'm wondering what the pre-order preview will show tomorrow uh, my fingers are crossed for the Volkite weapons um, you know because if they um, have them up for pre-order next weekend that will be the 4th of June so you can pick them up for the 11th of June it's either going to be 
pre-order for next week or the week after. You're either going to get them on the 11th or the 18th of June. Also, of course, I'd like to see them release those Imperial Fist uh, Pro Tours. Maybe something 28mm scale uh, for Titans, like the Volkite weapons. But we'll see. Uh, at least it's given me a chance to catch up on all of my other Forge World um, minis uh, over this month. A final little note about Forge World, um, I, I do usually say this, is if you um, pick a model such as a Titan, and it's no longer available. So say this Warlord Titan uh, body is no longer available. Hit the email me um, button. Uh, and uh, the more people that do that, that sends a message, a clear message to 412 uh, that uh, the, there's interest. Um, some of them you can't do that with, like this, like the builders. Usually the builders, you, you've got no option there um, because they're sort of integrated with other weapons that may well be sold out see that with the warlord bundle here i think what the gatling blast is sold out so unfortunately you, you know you can't go for the bundle and um, whenever they say like no longer available it, it's a bit misleading because it puts you in the mindset of they've sold out they're never going to make any more it's a load of rubbish and um, if they're sold out and they're no longer going to make any more they will pull it from the website completely but if there are things out of stock just click email me and um, yeah, like I say, that'll send a message to them. They've been all right. Uh, they've been a bit out of stock for quite a few things, like Moiraxes they're still out of stock with. Some of these weapons um, are out of stock. I mean, look at those. Look how many Warlord weapons are out of stock. Um, three of them there at least, not including the, both of the Carapace uh, too. So I would just uh, use the email me button, be patient. Things will um, things will gradually get back into stock. Um, I'm sure they're working overtime to try and fulfill orders. I put in an order from Forge World uh, at the start of the week. Uh, I received my order the next day, which is unheard of, really. Um, that was extremely quick um, processing and shipping. Uh, you can't really get any quicker than that. You order it, what, 10, 11 o'clock in the morning, and you get it similar time the next day. Uh, I mean, that's, that's kind of unbeatable unless you're, you're there at the HQ. Anyway, let's uh, kick and stomp our way over to Games Workshop Web Store and have a look at all of the pre-orders for today. And here we are on Games Workshop's Web Store. On the first page, uh, we have, well, an advert still for Blast Week with the um, Adeptus Mechanicus. On the next page, we've got the Broken Realms next chapter, Kragnos, uh, with a couple of uh, new box sets, Lord Croak, Kragnos himself, and the limited edition book. And the next page, we've got an advert for um, some of the uh, newer characters. I mean, um, this character isn't necessarily new, but she is uh, available um, separately. Uh, if we move further down, we've got adverts for the books. So Gaskell Thracker, uh, limited edition, the sixth omnibus for, for Gotrek and Felix, and then the Realm Lords uh, novel as well. So if we just uh, move up to new and exclusive, we hit pre-orders, 48 pre-orders today. It's not actually today because they, they count um, the ones from uh, last week. But if we click high to low, um, you'll see that uh, you've got the Technological Dominance Collection signed artwork. That was last weekend. Um, uh, you can basically get that, but without the artwork. Um, save yourself £20 and um, from getting it with the artwork. Uh, all of these items are um, the same price. So you're not saving anything from getting, you know, you know clicking once, which... I always think you should. Uh, the, here is Kragnos, the end of empires, hundred pounds. Kind of thought he would be um, uh, about this price. He's similar, if not bigger, taller than a, a Mega Gargan, which is hundred and twenty pounds. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm not a huge fan. I think maybe if I went for a face, I'd go for go for this face with his teeth kind of meshed together. Um, again, I'm not a huge fan. Uh, and the mace that shaft is a bit too short um this face as well uh again with his mouth open it just i just um yeah it just doesn't work for me uh this model uh unfortunately guys um so i won't be picking him up that's how big he is next to a uh, a war boss he consists of 74 plastic components so possibly only two sprues um I mean, they only show two sprues as well. Yeah, that's him. Two sprues, £50 per sprue. It's quite a big markup, really. Um, but, uh, 
you know, I guess there's a lot of money been put pumped into, um, you know, designing them and things. But still, only one pose, two different faces. That's it. And it's not in the same realms of like Bellacore with the, all the different options and things. But uh, there he is. Um, then you've got the combat patrols from last weekend, which was the Necron, the Space Marines, and the Mechanicus. Uh, you've got the Radicars uh, Corp from last weekend as well. Lord Croak, the new model for today, uh, along with this Broken Realms uh, release, £74. Not too bad. I was expecting between sort of 65 and, and 70 but uh, here he is. Um, a little bit more than, uh, uh, you know, uh, Shard of the Void Dragon. He is, I think, three sprues, though, just from looking at him. Fantastic mini, though. Um, they've done a yeah stupendous uh, paint job, haven't they? Um, they really know how to sell the models with the paint jobs. Um, but, yeah, fantastic. Needed a big refresh as well. Hopefully they'll get more refreshes for um, Skinks and uh, Seraphon. 56 uh, components for this one. Then you've got the Broken Realms. This is the start of the box set. £70 though for this Butcher Herd. Um, uh, what do you get? You get uh, Beasts of Chaos War Scroll Battalion of eight models in one box. You find the rules for this one in the Broken Realms Kragnos book. So Great Bray Shaman and a Gore Gone. And you also get six bull gores as well 225 uh, components for this one and you there is the uh war scrolls for the individual units the new um slanesh models this is just one kit but you can build either of these either dexessa uh, or sinessa uh, i'm not really sure which one is my my favorite but um 68 pounds similar price to the um Shard of the Void Dragon, I think uh, it is on a, a larger base though. 50 components, there are the rules right there for Dexessa. And looking like three sprues for this one. Very nice. Broken Realms, <laughs> Dritcher or Dircher, uh, Hammerdreth, uh, Dritcher's uh, Spike Grove. 60 pounds for this one. And you're getting one uh, Dritcher Hammerdreth and ten Spite Revenants. Uh, this will go very nicely with your um, with your Revenant. And then the uh, Start Collecting Soul Blight Grave Lords box set that was up for pre-order last weekend. Um, but we've also got the Broken Realms Ratatax Doom Coven for fifty-five. Let's have a little look at this. So you have a Warlock. Bombardier, three Storm Fiends, and one Warp Lightning Cannon. Then you have the Broken Realms Luxian and Reska, the Exquisite Pursuit. £55 there. Uh, contorted Epitome, three Fiends of Slanesh, and five Seekers of Slanesh. Uh, the Dark. Imperium series bundle sold out last weekend and so was the Adeptus Mechanicus Collector's Edition book. The Broken Realms Kragnos Limited Edition book for £50, still in stock, and there's only 700 of them. Um, but it's a beefy one, 136 pages. Um, you get, uh, you know, it's individually numbered, soft touch cover with a cloth spine, ribbon marker, gilt edged pages, and so on. Looks very decent, I like the brown and the gold. You've got the God Blight Special Edition was um, out. Of, you got the God Blight Special Edition um, was sold out very quickly last weekend, and then you've got the Gazgul Thracker Prophet of the War Limited Edition, forty pounds. That sold out in less than seventeen minutes uh, this morning. It's no longer available. It, it looks fantastic though. I mean, I love the, the green page edges. You've got a page keeper. It's all signed. There's two thousand of these though. Quite a lot to you know consider that it's a limited edition they're already up on um ebay for uh 100 pounds or so um heavy intercessors were last week but this weekend you've got the warsong revenant 34 pound 50 three sprue for this model not too bad the 
the sprues are quite small. Galen and Duralia Vendensed. Very expensive, £31.50. This is this is more than kind of Forge World prices right now uh, for a single sprue look. You've got a couple of options here. You know, you can have a, a, a wearing a hat um, and you can have him holding a torch instead of that uh, pistol. So there's a couple of options for for the price. Uh, Bella Dama, uh, the flayed ones, the die wolves, Radicar, the normal Codex and Lilith, they were all up for pre-order last weekend. But the Broken Realms Kragnos, uh, £25 there for the standard edition. Kanan's Reapers were up last weekend and so was Radicar the Wolf. The chapter approved though, £25 for both of these uh, field manuals. They're ring bound as well. You've got this uh, elasticated um, uh, piece. I'm not quite sure how big they are though. I hope they're not really small, but uh, 56 pages. The Chronomancer, the Captain with Mastercrafted Heavy Bolt Rifle, the Rat Prince and Lady Annika were all up last weekend. But today you've got Melisai Iron Scale. She was previously um, released in a, a box set um, quite a while back, so it's nice to see that uh, they've released her separately. The Mechanicus Dice, the Marshal and these Dark Imperium books were all up uh, last weekend along with their cards. Um, the e-publication for Broken Realms is available today. Um, and then you've got the novels, Go Trek and Felix in paperback, the omnibus, twelve ninety nine for David Geimer. You've got the Realm Lords by Dale Lucas, and then you've got the next uh, issue for Warhammer Forty Thousand, Marty S. Calgar, um, Marvel uh, issue five. That's up for pre order today as well. So yeah, a, a fair amount of pre orders today. It focuses heavily on um, Broken Realms and Age of Sigmar with absolutely no offerings for uh, Warhammer 40,000. Not too bad, considering I will predict that next weekend will be the start of the Sisters of Battle pre-orders, and then um, not that far into the future, we've, we've got uh, Orcs coming as well with a big box set and a load of new miniatures. What do you guys think of the pre-orders today? Did you pick up Kragnos? Were you lucky enough to uh, get hold of a Gazgrul Thracker? book um, or are you only interested in the toad um, please do put your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below as always it would be great to hear from you thank you ever so much for joining me today thank you for watching the emperor protects